how to get clean water without dying of dysentery. You're sitting by your campfire, proud of your fire-making skills. Then it hits you. You're thirsty. Not I could use a drink thirsty, but I drink from a mud puddle thirsty. Here's how to make water safe and why you need it if you plan on, you know, staying alive. Here's what you need. A metal pot and a plastic bottle. Charcoal. The black magic from your fire. It's not just burnt wood. It actually absorbs nasty stuff. A cloth to strain out bugs, leaves, or mystery floaties. Sand and pebbles. Nature's low-budget Brita filter. Step one, strain your dirty water through the cloth. Quick, easy, less crunchy. Step two, run it through layers of sand, charcoal, and pebbles. Sand catches dirt, charcoal grabs chemicals, pebbles keep it flowing. Step three, boil the filtered water over your campfire for at least one full minute. Heat destroys bacteria and viruses. Step four, let it cool. Unless burnt lips are your survival aesthetic. And there you go. Clean, safe water with nothing but scraps, science, and pure stubborn willpower to survive.